Uh oh, looks like my nephew slash niece wants to play tag. Uh, I don't know if this thing really can have a gender, cause I mean it, it seems like it's kind of transcended beyond gender, but uh, there's not really a gender neutral term for nephew or niece. The point is, don't when it plays tag, it it, it plays tag for reals, like high stakes tag, man. Uh, Anyways, follow Beyonce's rule of going left, and by Beyonce's rule, I mean it's, it's my gospel, really. It's uh, to the left, to the left. Always to the left. Except for, you know, the one time where you have to go to the right, because it's the only choice. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was about to make a bad decision. Anyways, so yeah, there's not much to it. Just kind of try, try to be the best that you can. Um... And it's either up or, di or straight, I don't know, to the left. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Nothing, because this is the way. I think if I would have gone straight, it would have been a bad idea, but at least I can make a left, and it gets me to success. I want to be down here. I want to be down here so I can go to this and mess with it. Boiler pressure. It could blow the ship to bits. That's what I have to do. Well, well, family member of I, unidentified gender, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I gotta escape, but you know, you, you can stay here if you want. By all means, just chill and relax. I'm a good aunt. If this was opposite day. Oh, he still wants to play. That, that, that's fine, you know, I'll just go here. Do this thing. I, I I win, man. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna die again. It's gonna be a failed part. It's gonna be like in the last recording. Everyone assumes that I was just playing, but <laughs> I forget this section a lot. Oh dear lord, it's so creepy. Here it goes with its super super move of flying. Uh. I have nothing. Oh my god, it's not over. That's basically all the end segment is. It uses a super move. So, if you're wondering how to win the death race, or the ultimate game of tag with the ultimate being, always go to the left. Always follow Beyonce's rules. Man, that cop is super background. Background, yeah, he's he's super imposed, man. Uh, basically, Media, Daniel, and myself, you know, we're, we're obviously NPCs programmed into this scene, but... Everything else is just background. It's super obvious. I don't know. It's check It's finally over. I mean, I would hope so. But then again, it's the ultimate being. Who really knows? Uh, I don't understand why I have this power. It's your sister, Aya. Maya's inside of you, too. Oh, did we not explain that? What? When your mother and your sister died, they plant... Plant trans... Uh, transplanted a part of your sister into you. And to me, yeah, you had a damaged eye, Aya. Uh, your cornea, it was damaged. Uh, you were seven, so you probably don't remember. You were teeny tiny. Oh, that wasn't from the crash. You were born with a defect in your right eye. So Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. So basically, you also got the powers, but uh, I, I got a question. I, I, I guess it's self-answered, though, because, I mean, uh, I guess... Mariko, your mom, who is Mariko, you know, she was, she, she had the, the things, you know, the power things, she had, she had part of Eve's cells, which got passed on to Maya, and I guess, 
you know, they chose Mai instead of you, Aya, but... I, I figure, you know, a little bit of that could have been in your genetics, but I, I guess not. It's because of Maya's cornea, because she was the chosen one for Mitochondria Eve. You got the evolution, evolutionary traits from Maya, you know, your sister. She gave you the ability to stand up to Mitochondria Eve, which is kind of weird, but, you know, whatever, I'll roll with it. I guess there can't be two Mitochondria Eve, so... The power is just manifested on their own, and you have control. Starting with Instant Japan. Now with this, uh, Media, you have some weird luck. Cut message? How can I explain? It? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like a virus to control. Okay, so basically the mitochondria are antibodies. Um, are, are you trying to make some sort of metaphor about humans are on the path to destruction and we're parasites? You say that way. Yeah, I, I guess. But I mean, what about the human, the human spirit and the fact that we're still going to survive no matter what? I mean, we did. Oh, what's that? It's not over? Yeah, you're right. I mean, there's still more. I mean, I, yeah. Ben. Uh, you remember Ben? I totally forgot about this kid. Because uh, you're in you're in the police station arc, and then you're kind of out of the story for a while. And by a while, I mean until now. I'm not too good with these social events. You're not even dressed. I love... Ben, you're very mature. I mean, we have to make up for... So is it next year, or is it, like, you know, January or something? Is it after New Year's? Is it a couple days after New Year's? I mean, the whole town had to, you know, come back after the evacuation notice was kind of retracted and everything was clear. You're with... Uh, yeah, you're also not dressed. It's, it's starting, shall we? It's just like at the beginning, except Aya's in a different dress. She's not in a black dress like at the beginning. Actually, good question. Why is she, like, not in her dress? Oh, there we go. Now she's in her dress. Also, the audience is super background photograph. Except for the guys in the front. I don't know. We're just imposed into this photograph. It's weird. Uh, they better hurry, or they're going to miss it. Or they planned it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. They wanted to give Medea some time with Aya. <laughs> and here I am, just in Medea's shoes, being like, I don't know how to deal with this. I mean, I get it. You know, Aya's being very friendly. I got a chance to actually kind of work my magic, except I don't have any magic. I don't have any moves. I'm just, just sitting here all nervous, trying not to seem like I'm super interested, but at the same time, I'm going back to Japan. That's what I fast forward. <laughs> Oh, there we go, Ben. Move, Media. I, I'm sitting, I'm sitting next to you, man, cause, uh, you know, you're really cool. I like you, so I relate. You know, real, in, in truth, this is like my family right now. <laughs> the poor Media. He has a crush on I. It never worked out. Anyways, remember that opera at the very beginning? I tried googling it. I don't think there's really anything in terms of this opera being a legit opera. I think it was just kind of made for this game. To which I'm really curious what the opera was about. I mean, we got we got a prince, we got a king, we got a cursed woman who I, I think is supposedly a witch. Or, or like, uh, is accused of being a witch. Here we go. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. The best line is coming up right here. You don't understand. She is the one who has suffered most deaths. 
I'm impressed they got a new cast this quickly. She is evil. Grab, guards grab her, burn her at the stake, like the way she is. Wait, we didn't get the best part. <laughs> where's the, where's the dramatic father? Oh, wait, wait, here it is. Listen, I know they were premature. Yes! I love, I love that part. It's just so dramatic. And I can't really blame the actor. I think that's how it's written in the play. Uh, whatever this play is. Edward. Like King Edward. Or that one character in Final Fantasy VI. Would you mind sitting back down? Uh, it's funny. Get with it, guys! Also, how did Media know? Actually, how did Daniel know? He wasn't there. Neither of them were there. Aya was there. I mean, it was about at this point when she started having really freaky powers that started developing and Mitochondria Eve awoke, but, you know, why did they prematurely just, like, stand up? Doesn't make any sense. Aya was there. Did she forget? I mean, it was one of the most significant parts of the whole entire game. It's what started everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed the most confusing ending, because it, it's quite bizarre in a lot of ways. Uh, from what I understand, there is a second ending. I'll be attempting to get it, so don't worry. It's not over yet. I, but at the same time, uh, as far as I'm aware, that ending, is, this ending that we just saw is canonical. Uh, but there wasn't like a, a second awakening of Eve until much later, as far as I'm aware, you know, it took place in 2000, Parasite Eve 2, uh, or rather, I don't know, either, either 2002, uh, yeah, because technically, since it's close to New Year's, you know, it would have been two years later, or something along those lines, two, two and a half years, uh, I forget the whole entire setting, but... For all intents and purposes, until I get to the next part of everything, uh, Parasite Eve will be on hiatus, because even though technically, you know, I beat the game and there's new game plus and it's not going to be too bad, there is something else that we have to get to. And I will be covering it, you know, in new game plus. Uh, I will not be playing the game over again, because for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much over. Uh, the stuff that you named, you get to actually use that, so you pretty much wreck everything as you go along. It's it's really nice. Now, the main reason for doing New Game Plus is to get the second ending. And there's more to it. And there is also, as far as I'm aware, I think it's like a 77 or 78 story dungeon. Also known as the Chrysler Building. Uh, it, it's a real fun place in a lot of ways. It's also a little bit roguelike in the sense that floors are randomly generated. I'm still not quite sure how I'm going to go about it. But I do know I will show off all the bosses that happen in that. Uh, I will also try to show off all the stuff that you can get from it. 
Also, I will try to be working my way to getting an even stronger gun than the one that we had at the end. Pretty fun stuff, if I do say so myself. But other than that, you know, there's really not a whole lot to say. You know, C CG Movie USA section, yeah! All these... Oh, excuse me. All these people. We got some English names up in here. No, they did they did a great job. I, I have to I have to commend everyone. Everyone in the credits. Fantastic job. Got some hit music going on. Yeah. I'm really feeling it. Uh what was I gonna say? I love this game. I thought it was it's a lot of fun. It has a lot of interesting like subjects put into it. I really like evolution. And I like how they incorporate it into the whole entire gameplay and kind of twist it a little bit. Especially like the fact that you got like this this conduit that's mutating everything, or I guess quote unquote evolving through mitochondria influences. You know, it's really fun, really fascinating. I, and I just had to let's play. You know, I I really wanted to just like do it because I love this game. I love the series. I really hate the third birthday because it kind of went into a whole different direction and there's a whole bunch of stuff and I'm, you know, I really don't think I'm going to let's play it. I may if I get a lot of requests. I, I doubt it though. Whoever watches this, who would ever watch this for just my let's play of Parasite Eve? By the way though, if you want to see Parasite Eve 2, I did do a let's play years ago. So you can watch me in my, I don't know, in a few like. You can watch me back when I was like trying to get my 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 style of whatever I do rambling my style of doing rambling while I do let's plays. Uh, yeah, that's really all I can say. You can go watch my second let my my let's play of the second game, Parasite Eve 2. Totally did it. Has a lot more interesting spells in in it. I like the more variety. In this one, you have a lot more support and healing spells, a lot more defensive rather than offense. It's not terrible, it's just I wish it was a better selection. And two, you get a lot more offense. Uh, it's a lot more limited, though, I will say that. But at the same time, the difference is instead of like animal mutation, although that is in the second game, there's human mutation, there's artificial mitochondria. Or I guess they're mitochondria. Uh, I forget what it's called. It doesn't matter. Organisms, mitochondria organisms. I think that's what they call them. Uh, yeah, it's it's apparently a thing. Also, Aya becomes a bounty hunter, so to speak. She becomes a mitochondria hunter. She goes around just destroying all these organisms that are mutated. And it's it's weird. I guess it's not just. I think there's a whole government branch and she gets recruited into it and that's what happens in the sequel. It's pretty nice. So yeah, there, there's some pretty interesting things in the second one but at the same time I really do like the first one. I like playing it. I enjoy everything about it. I find a lot of the things interesting. All that said, uh, there's not a whole lot to say about it. I, I guess... For all intents and purposes, you can go watch that. You can you can watch this. You can rewatch it, and you know, hopefully you're excited for the Chrysler Building. Although I still need to figure out how I'm gonna go about that. Uh, still a little confused. Still trying. Oh, uh, is that the song that's playing right now? Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm this is Parasite Eve, everybody. I hope you liked it. Record it at. Dora Studios, Los Angeles. Okay, special thanks to these guys. Hey, good job on you, mate. Special thanks to you. Localizing specialist. Uh, cool. Quality assurance coordinators. Or co yeah, whatever. Squaresoft, back when you were Squaresoft, never Square Enix. Man, I do wish there was a third game that was actually related to the whole entire thing instead of, you know, some weird side, side spin off that involves the main characters, but kind of goes off the rockers with the interdimensional aliens, interdimensional beings. It, thir the third birthday is a weird game. I have a lot to complain about it, but I did play it. I never beat it. I don't know. It, it was weird. And also, there was like a scoring system that I wasn't really down with. I don't know. I, I just couldn't really get into it. 
But again, if people really want it, I'll do it. I just, I, I like the first game. I like the first game. The second game's a little bit better, having Let's Play it. It's not that bad. I will say, for our own tits purposes, though, it's, uh... It's about it for Parasite Eve. I don't, I don't think they're ever gonna go back to it. I, I think this is about as much as you're gonna get. Uh, it's like the end of the Rose for Aya, and as far as I remember, it kind of is, like, it, it kind of is over and with the third birthday. I could be wrong on that, though. So, yeah. Next time. New Game Plus, so to speak. Ma mainly the secret second dungeon that you can only access in New Game Plus. Oh, before I end it, might as well get the calculation bonus. Uh, I should probably explain bonus points, shouldn't I? Um, in, in new game, in new game plus.